Hello everybody. In this video, we will show how to use labels or stickers that can be applied to your scene objects. This functionality is available in Light Tracer Render 2.7 and is crucial for product visualization. We'll give you some tips and show helper tools to apply labels conveniently, saving you time and making the process intuitive and fun. Labels are extra layers with its own materials and textures on top of your material. To add a new label, open the modeling widget and drag the sticker onto the target object. Note, there are three types of labels, flat, cylindrical, and spherical. Each label corresponds to a different shape, determining how the image projects onto the object. The label should be close to the object's surface to ensure minimal distortions of the image. You can change the image and adjust label's material in the Properties widget. When you drag a label onto an object, it automatically aligns with its surface. We already applied the flat label on the flat surface. Now let's choose the spherical label for rounded object parts. Finally, opt for the cylindrical label for bottles or tubes. There are no restrictions on what material a label can have. You can create simple stickers with the base color opacity maps, embossed labels using normal, metallic, and roughness maps, or even emissive labels. We should also flip you coordinates in this case. Note that for cylindrical labels, Light Tracer adjusts the label's orientation to match the axis of bottles or tubes. You may want to adjust the size and orientation of the sticker manually. To do so, open Transform Widget where you can tune label size and other parameters. Like normal scene objects, labels can be moved around the scene with the Transform Widget or using a 3D manipulator. While transforming the label, Keep track of where the label's surface is located, from which the image is projected. It should remain as parallel as possible to the actual surface of the object. Note that it is often more convenient to move the sticker around using the stick to surface mode. In this mode, the sticker is automatically aligned to the object surface. Now, let's discuss how to manage label objects in Scene Explorer. First, you should note that the label only applies to the group of objects to which it belongs, even if another group of objects is within the projection distance of the label. It will not apply to them. That's why we do not see the sticker on the floor. This serves as a handy isolation mechanism, preventing unintended application of label images. Second, if multiple labels are at the same place or partially overlap, their display order is determined by the order of label objects in the Scene Explorer. Let's drag the Peach label to set the desired overlay order. As you can see, using labels in Light Tracer is easy. We believe that for those immersed in product visualization and mock-up creation, this feature will be a game changer. Labels simplify a lot of tasks of positioning logos and stickers on your products offering you the freedom to place them as you see fit. Let us know what you think about the new feature and how to improve it in the next versions of Light Tracer Render. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.